Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a horror villain tier list, and I'm mainly doing this, of course, because Halloween is Sunday. So, um, I'm going to be making a list of the horror movies characters I like from the ones that I'm not really a fan of. Um... So yeah, let's go. So first we got Hellraiser, and I personally like Hellraiser. I've seen the first um, two Hellraiser movies. Actually, I think his name's Pinhead. Um, but I don't know. I haven't really got like a strong connection. Just he just kind of seems to be there, but he seems pretty good for a villain. Uh, next. We have, I believe, Stewie from Scream. Uh, I kind of like this character, but um, I don't think he was really that important since he was the villain in only one movie. So I'm going to put him in a neutral state. Annabelle. Annabelle's pretty cool. I think she does um, a, a lot of cool things. Or not really cool things, but she's very powerful. So I'm going to put her in a light category. Uh, let's see, John Kramer from Saw. I'm going to put him in a love category because I think he is a great horror villain and he's been built up well. Um, I think this is Red from Us. And I really like the movie Us. And I really like Red as a villain. But I think I'll just put her in light. Because I don't think she has a very powerful impact. Um, I don't think I know who this is. So I'm going to put them in the don't know category. Ghostface. Um, well, let's just say Ghostface in general. I'm going to put them in the love category. I know I put Stewie in the neutral category. But I feel like Ghostface, um, the character, represents a lot more than just one person. Jack Torrance, I'm going to put him in a light category. Um, he was a good villain, but I don't feel like he um, had a huge role in the movie. He was kind of just there to, uh, you know, show the definition of madness. Uh, this guy is from The Strangers. Uh, I'll give him a neutral. I thought he was a pretty neat villain, but he doesn't really do much. He just breaks into the house. I don't know who that is. Oh, I have don't two don't know categories for some reason. Alright, Freddy Krueger. I've seen uh, part of the first one, but I am planning on seeing uh, the first four over the weekend. But from what I've seen, I'm going to put him in the love category because I think he's very influential and a good character. Alien, um, I'll put him in the light category. I haven't really seen any of the movies, but I've read the book and played the um, Alien Isolation video game. So, you know, from my experience, I'll put him in the light category. I think this guy's from American Psycho, but I have not seen that movie. Um, let's see, the other villain from Scream, I think I'm going to put him more in the light category, because he had a more powerful role than Stewie. I don't know who that is. Candyman, Candyman is pretty neat. Um, I'll just put him, I'd say, probably in light category, because I don't think he's a super influential, but he was a pretty neat character. Um, and I like the first two movies, and of course, the third movie, in my opinion, was, um, very bad, but, you know, it's always gonna be a rotten egg in a series. I think I'm gonna put the other Hellraiser villains, probably just in neutral. Um, I think this is Lost Boys, but I have not seen Lost Boys. So I'll put him down in, don't know. I have no idea who this is, alright, either. Let's 
Where did I put Oh, over here. Don't know who that is. Uh, Pamela Voorhees. Uh, I'll put her in the like category. I think she was a good villain for starting off the Friday the 13th series. Uh, I do not know who that is either. Oh, wait. Is that... Either that's the person who takes the soul of Chucky, but I don't think it is. Speaking of Chucky, I'm going to put him in the um, love category because I think um, having him have a personality was very neat. And they just really suited him. Uh, I can't remember this person's name, but I know they're also from Hellraiser, and I know they kind of had a more of a bigger role than the two I put in neutral, so I'm going to put them in like with Pinhead. Michael Myers, I'm going to put in love just because um, it's very influential, and I just think he belongs up there. I do not know who this is. Jason Voorhees, I'm also going to put him in love, just because he's a very influential character, as well as Michael Myers. Um, Carrie, I have not watched Carrie, so I cannot really say that I have any opinions towards the character. The, like, entity from, um, uh, It Follows, that was pretty cool. I know it just shows the old lady that takes form of, but I'm going to consider the whole thing when I am doing this. Leatherface. Uh, I haven't seen any of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, but I'm going to put him in like just because I know he's a good character and very influential. Um, I'm going to say the baby face killer uh, I'll put them in neutral because the movie was more about um, the girl and I think she really stole it the uh, killer from my bloody valentine I'll put him in neutral too it's probably also lost boys it just gives me that kind of vibe I'm not sure Norman Bates uh, I have not seen Psycho, which I really need to. Don't know who that is. Alright, um, Samara. I'll put them in neutral. They weren't like a super big character, but they're pretty neat. I'm going to put um, Pennywise in love just because I feel like he has a very powerful role. And a very good role at that, especially, um... Bill Scar's arts version. Um, let's see, Predator. I'll put him in like. He's not like a super interesting character, but he's a neat character, and I'm glad to see him in the movies. I can't not remember the demon's name, but I know Reagan is the girl. I'm gonna put her in like. I'm not sure she was a. Or the demon itself was a super neat character, but, you know, it was pretty cool. Um, no, he's also from Saw. I'm gonna put him in like, just because he's not really as big as John Kramer. Hannibal Lecter. I'm gonna put Hannibal Lecter in love, because I really think that he had a pretty neat role in made the movie very important and I believe this is from The Thing but I have not seen The Thing and The Bride of Chucky I do not know anything about her alright but these last three characters we have I do know about so let's begin with this Sam uh, I'll put him in the light category because he was a very neat character throughout um, Trick or Treat and I think um, he at least deserves to be there because he's very mysterious but near the end of the movie you start to learn more about him 
And then I'm just gonna put these two from, um, gosh, the strangers in the same category as the other masked man. Just because, um, you know, I think with both of them, they weren't very big. So I think they'll just go there. Yeah. Well, anyways, I think that's going to be my tier list for this Halloween year and for all these horror mo movie villains. I may do a tier list on my favorite horror movies if I can find a good one. But other than that, um, well, I hope you all have a very good night and a very happy Halloween. See you in the next video.